All right. Speaking of funny, talk to me about Kevin Hart. Yeah. Uh, did you? I mean, I didn't finish. I'm not going to finish. I mean, I don't think you should. I don't think it's worth your time. That's just me. Wait, we spoke um, about him though. Did we not speak about him? We spoke about if you saw this special. We spoke about him. Like two, oh, three we want to talk about Kevin Hart in the chatty house. In the in the in the clubhouse. Yes, in clubhouse. Um, so in Kevin Hart's new special, No Fucks Given, he makes a joke about the possibility that his daughter could be a hoe because she's talking to multiple guys. Uh, people in the app Clubhouse did not like this. They thought it was very derogatory towards the black woman, and they didn't uh... like that that type of uh, that type of I guess vocabulary referring to his daughter. Kevin Hart fought and said, I did not call my daughter a hoe. I said it was hoe-like. And um, that he called three former hoes. He was joking, I guess. I called three former hoes I know and asked them, is this hoe-like activity? Stop with the false narratives and clickbait and the back and forth. Um, I, got, I got thoughts on this. What are yours? What are yours? All right. My first thought is I am honestly tired of people's sensitivity. I really can't. I, I can't stomach it anymore. It's just annoying. Mm -hmm. He's a comedian. It is his daughter who gives a flying, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's just like, yo, like, just let it bump. Like, why do we have to say anything? That's my first thought. Second thought is Kevin Hart. Why the, f why do you care? Why do you care? His, the, uh, to you feel me? Everyone quick, cares his, too much, and that's what's his, getting me annoyed. His special was called No Fucks Given, but he's giving a whole lot of fucks. So many. I get it, yo. I get it. Because, like, yo, we do a podcast, right? So, like, all right, let's put it in, like, real day terms. We do a podcast. Like, we put out content, right? Like, sometimes you have to not give a fuck of how you sound and how you look, how it may come off. We just said some crazy things that may come off as misogynistic. Who knows? But honestly, we meant something in good faith. But somebody might receive it in a different way because this climate's so sensitive, right? But why do people care? I, why does Kevin Hart feel the need to, 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 to defend what he said? Oh, fam, you got the jokes off. You're, the name of your special is No Fucks Given. Give no fucks, cuz. Give no fucks. Uh, so my thoughts. First off, I feel like if the joke was funnier, people wouldn't care. I watched the special, and when he started, when he lined up the joke, I knew what the punchline was going to be. I knew the punchline was going to be your daughter might be a hoe. Yeah. After talking to, to all these different guys. I knew it. I knew it was coming. I chuckled. Ha. That was one of my eight laughs. Ha. Are you telling me that you have comedic timing? I, I, I don't have comedic timing. <laughs> I don't have comedic timing. Like I just was, know when I, I just... It was kind of like a comic I connoisseur just, over here. I knew. I mean, I watched a lot of comedy. Line. No, I know you did. I know you did. Um, and uh, you just tell where it was going. So it wasn't as funny because there was no real, I guess, like surprise or shock or awe. And even throughout the special, it just seems like he gave a lot of fucks, even though the special's name was No Fucks Given. He said some wild shit, but it wasn't anything like beyond the realm of like what you expect Kevin Hart to say. He was a cartoon bunny, for God's sakes. Like, how many fucks could he not give, right? Yeah, he so, sold himself to Hollywood. I, I feel like if the joke was funnier, people wouldn't care because they'd be too busy laughing. But we got so much time to not laugh at this yeah. unfunny joke that we can be critical of it, right? And then the second thing is, why are you responding? Just like you said, why are you responding? If it's called no fucks given, then literally my nigga don't give a fuck, Can I tell you and just stand on your stand on your stage and tell your joke and be confident in it. And I think this is the thing with Kevin Hart, like he's sensitive. he's not funny anymore. He's not funny. He's sensitive. I, I love him though. That's my guy, but but he's not funny anymore. And like the thing is, but like it's because people are just letting him. <sighs> no, the thing is, is like Kevin Hart has never lived on the edge as far as his comedy goes. He talks about his family, and that's cool. And another thing, I think people are overly sensitive because people were really, really invested in Kevin Hart and with that whole like cheating thing and sex tape and all that drama and him not taking accountability and that special that he put out last year that we talked about also. People are sensitive when he talks about these things now. People think, wow, you're talking crazy about your wife, but you were just like fucking bitches and storing coke in a hotel room. Wow, you're talking crazy about your baby mama, but you cheated on her just like you cheated on your other wife. So I think people, even when I was watching that with uh, with my girl, that's those are things that she was saying. She was like, he thinks this is funny. When he did this to his wife and his ex-wife, 
and his kids might have a complex and he's joking about. I think people are taking him seriously because he put his shit out there to be this type of person. He turned out to be something else. Now he's this edgy guy and he's never been edgy. It's just confusing. We don't know who Kevin Hart is anymore. And the worst part about it is that he's not even funny anymore. Yeah, if he was funny, we wouldn't give a fuck. Same. Chris Rock is hilarious. We don't give a fuck. Dave Chappelle is hilarious. We don't give a fuck. They say watch all the time, all but it's time. funny. It's funny. It's and funny. his shit isn't funny. That's all it is to me. I'm with you. It's That's tough. it. Just be funny again, my nigga, and you'll be good. <laughs> That's it. Find that funny. We're on board. Exactly. Um, um, yeah, man, it's tough, man. It's tough. Only because, like, it's it's hard for me because, like, Kevin Hart was somebody I really, like, wanted to model my career after. Not in the comedy sense, but, like, in the successful sense. Mm -hmm. And I just hate the way he gives it up. I think you still... But because pers his I think we gotta, like, His business sense is great. His business sense is great. Yeah. But like, I, I, but, like, the responding back... Like, I don't like that from you. I don't like that. I want you to... I want you to give no fucks. You told you, me you give no fucks. I want you to, to show me. He might have that Tory Lanez complex. Little niggas, man. Where he's trying to be six, where he's like with the women and the cheating and the, and I guess like the no fucks and I'm a tough and I'm edgy. I don't know. Maybe I'm I off. Know. I don't know. But Not just get back. All, all of these problems get solved if you're funny. <laughs> all of them. It's like, a, it's like being an NBA player. Like Charles Barkley was throwing people out of bar windows and getting in fights and cursing at people. But he was putting up 20 and 12 every night. So guess what? 20 and 12. We're going to let it slide because you're good. <laughs> you real good. Yeah, I like So we're going to let it slide. MJ was in casinos till 4 a.m. gambling. Fucking bitches left and right. 30 a night, six rings. You good. You're great. If Kevin Hart is funny, everything is fine. But he ain't funny. Yeah. So it is what it is. Yeah. I'm with you on that, man. Kev. Indeed. One more from you, buddy. 